Welcome back, guys, to Ender Lilies, Quietus of the Nights, where last episode we continued our fledgling exploration of the ruined castle, climbing up through what should have been the most protected structure in the kingdom and facing the fallen sentinel along the way in our search for a boss that now continues. Right, seemingly, we've actually got all the goodies here. One of those spells is actually enough to take me out. I think the other guy jumped off the cliff. I don't think I killed him. I think he just jumped. Okay, so the only real way is up. Oh, that'd be good to get, yeah. Can't go right because of a door. So there's at least one more unlock I actually have to get, apart from breaking open these doors. I have to find a way to open the other doors. A little bit more than first floor. But look at things not even the castle could protect them. I mean, it does just seem to grow up <laughs> through everything. really sure what you do against that. Where should I head first? Let's go right. It actually turned out to be a big upwards corridor. Another place I got a breakthrough thing. Okay, considering I can't actually clear this area out, unless this is the way up, I'll leave it. I'll go left. The way for me to climb even higher, in fact, to be honest. That is a very annoying combination of attacks. <laughs> I got lifted up. I feel like we're going to have a few of these corridors in a row, right? The Umbral Knight sword play combined with the dodging. Worked out perfectly. There was a sudden realization there that I had to rush the back. Can't let the caster in the back cast, can we? Should I heal before I enter another room? Considering casters are in here too. got all the goodies here. It's interesting the one place I didn't get the goodies in was the room I just come from, by the way. Just kick me. Right, so I've come through here, killed everything. I'm gonna go back to the first room because now I feel bad that I just missed it when it's an orange. It's not orange, I just kind of skipped through it. Well, I mean, there was a lift upwards, but I thought the lift upwards would lead to somewhere bigger, but it's actually. It looks like a thin room, but it's actually got a lot more criticality to it than you'd imagine. I really don't know if that's faster or not. 
Let's slow down. Telling me there's nothing up there? I I believe that's to be lies. Oh, I can't even use that. You see that I've got a plan here. Can I? I don't think I can. I can't see anything up there. What the hell is the secret in this room? What have I missed here? I'm so curious. My sanity? Yeah. It's a blue room. So there's an item in this room. There is undoubtedly an item here. See? I told you. I'm not mad. It's a 20 HP item, in fact. Big good. No sanity lost. Just intelligence. <laughs> Gained. Or more to the point. <laughs> Map is an orange. Goody for me. <laughs> Must get. <laughs> Super fast. That wasn't that bad of jumping puzzle. It was just a thought I thought that I could use the the elevator to give me a bit of a boost. Which was wrong. Okay, I can't go up here. like a book. There's another thing to bash through. There's something, something's off here. I don't know why I lost so much health then. There's a big treasure chest behind that. It's a way to bash for- oh my goodness. Right, I'm out of health. Goodies to get in that room, but I know I can't get to them. Thankfully, I found a respite straight away. Uh. This diary number three. Now, King's Note 1. At long last, the abominable Lord of the Blighted Lands has been purified. I am beside myself with rapt relief. The Blighted have tormented us for many long years, but now I control them. Died as my hands were, I had no choice but to afflict my subjects to deal with those damnable wretches. Now their power is in my hands. Well, that doesn't sound good, King. Could that be the throne room ahead? Wait, we're... Uh, we're... It's boss time. I went the right way instead of the other way. The King of Land's End. Where is he? Uh, very dead. He's dead. There's someone else there.
Knight Captain Julius. He's barely taking any damage. Oh, you... He does slow for us and then comparatively fast for us. It even looks like he changes direction quite often. And I can't see it in the middle of my attacks, which is interesting. I'm not even at a good range to do this from. A lot of the time, I just keep crashing into him. This has not gone well at all. Probably dead shortly, but this guy's got tons of HP. Oh. Sometimes just being in his hitbox is very irritating. for a first try, I guess. Oh my goodness, he's just got a laser. <laughs> he's just got a laser. So it looks like a long battle is about to take place. Come with me, maiden. He's got a laser. I actually chipped down his HP more than I thought at certain times there. Let's uh, do the simplify strat again. Sword, dodge. The entire basis of everything. Ah. He just parries blows. It's crazy he gets like the shield guys attacks without having the shield. A lot of clips. Thank you very much, Beat. That turnaround hit was not my cup of tea. Even with the heal fast, by the way, oh. you've really actually got to look more on his eyes. Uh, more like from his movement than his eyes actually to recognize what attacks about to come in
Ah! I feel like you gotta be more predictive in this one. My dog's out. <laughs> Nearly got behind him in time. Wait, he's just, a just attacked behind him. Oh my goodness. If you were in front of him, that's like a nearly a full health bar. If you're in front of him bad, you've got to stay very close so you can get behind him or get high fast. Then you still got to dodge over him, otherwise you're just falling into a laser. Should I go without the dog until later to try and add some damage later on in the fight? Yeah, so I gotta, I gotta try to stay as close to him as possible. <laughs> nice, but friendly guy. And I got hit by his hitbox. I can definitely joust with him quite well. Ah. Tickle it on him. Oh, it's an AoE, so you can't even dodge back through him. You can only dodge away. His hitbox. I was just not fun. What? What if he does that when he's on the side of the screen? Ah, oh, no! You can't just combo. That's my job. Why is Sigrid feel like a bit? No. Phew. Third time's the champ. I'm sorry. I've only added to your burdens. Just gotta stick to him like glue. As the kingdom approached oblivion, its subjects became deathless abominations. My brethren fought on until madness consumed them. All the rain did. I managed to stave off the corruption of my mind and found myself in the throne room. My blade held over the king I was meant to protect. He shook and blubbered in exasperation. Priestess and knights who gave their lives to the kingdom were disposable. This was where the king's obsession with immortality had led us. The king's words dripping with greed were the palpable lament of his corrupt heart. It was plain to me as the blood pumping in that heart also flowed through my veins. I too had not fought to protect the kingdom or its people, but my own interests. 
I only wish for him to admit he had been wrong to abandon me. Sure enough, as I held my sword over him, his eyes were fixed only on me. I have been waiting for this, waiting for our eyes to meet for the very first time. Ninth Captain Julius unleashes a series of jabbing attacks with a lance that allows for maximum reach. That's pretty cool. Advancing thrust can be made by using the skill while moving sideways. The king's bastard son. After enduring a hard life, he rose to the knightly ranks to get back at his father. His tenacity is unparalleled. We also got to dash. After dodging, Knight Captain Julius grabs hold of you and charges forward, allowing a burst of momentum. <gasps> well, okay. So we can attack while going forward now-ish. Piercing Spectral Lance as well. While dashing, attack button R2 and square. The charging strike of Knight Captain Julius' Lance can break through pustulant walls. The longer the dash, the more magic builds up within the spear. This not only increases attack range and power, but also powers through thicker pustulant walls. Nice. Juicing a crimson ore that can punch through dense things. So we gotta like... Go from further away to break bigger walls. A knight driven from his castle. How much hatred must one be consumed by to kill one's own kin? So I just hold dash essentially and I get this. I wonder how much damage that would do. Well, nice new ability. I'm assuming that's straight up faster now than any other movement option we had, so that's pretty good. Let's put you on this one, I think. Should I power up Knight Captain Julius then? Depends how good he is. Depends what kind of range we're looking at here. It's slow. But you can kind of fence someone away. Give it a go. We've got no ranged option on currently, but I'm sure we'll make do. Disappointing to see it didn't do any damage as you run through enemies. Even though it's like spear drawn. Plus 5 HP there. Far enough away. I think that just goes for the shield as well, by the way. Is it when it bursts red, or do I have to go further? Hmm. Yeah, it was the second pulse of red. King's Note 2. The fiend who stole away my beloved son is somewhere in the castle. I will not suffer this trespass. My righteous rage shall not be satiated until I hunt them down, for I cannot allow a dynasty of royal blood to meet an end in mine own halls. If only my plans had come to fruition, but no. Hope yet remains. Which son do you mean? A pure blood one? Eldred's Ring. Speeds up accumulation of the SP gauge. An ancient warrior's gift to a priestess. The two were quite close, despite his being a disembodied spirit and her as master. Though she was passed on, the warrior's bit yet remains, thinking fondly of the time they spent together. So I can supposedly go up from here. Let's try that again. Yep, it got through even if I didn't. The rain changed everything. We've lost it all, even our pride. 100 Furious Blight. 
Well, there's still a way to go higher than this. It's quite confusing. So you've got to imagine it's from here, but it's not from there. Personally, I cannot grab onto that. Hmm. It's weird that there's an upper point here. And it's not seemingly visible just from going there. No secret bit there either. What? Oh no, we're going to be stuck here for ages now. It might be that it's actually a downwards point and we go round from the other side. Let's uh let's advance with that as the thought rather than stick around. Well, there's another place to explore. We should do it. So at this point, I actually have enough powers seemingly to go to most of the locations I've been to. So now that I've got those goodies and even more relics now, 359 Furious Blight. Let's uh, warp to... I just want to warp to the one directly underneath me. There we go. This side over here. We have to go through the entire Twin Spires again, by the way. Can't say I'm necessarily super looking forward to that one. Twin spires were full of dragons. That straight up shatters them. Wait, you're not dead? Whoa, oh, you got throwing your knot back. Ah, so that's that door. So actually, it's only the area above I can maybe go to somewhere from. Gotta work out how to get there again. They are the easiest targets I could possibly go for, I feel. These are the twin spiders. We have locked a lot of shortcuts. Yeah, we'll get to go through it again. Without too much of an issue. That is true. Okay, so what we saw was that. There we go. Even if they can't die, this is still slaughter. Under stagnant blight found off. I can't leave the room, so that is a wall. 
Well, that's why we didn't climb up here. Didn't seem much of a point if I couldn't get through that. Level 77. 